Okay, welcome everyone to another Wednesday night. The fundamentals to gain inner peace. Last week, I gave a sneak peek of what we're going to discuss tonight about setting our intention, the power of intentions. But before we get started, I would like to do some relaxation coming into the room, just making sure that we're all here and um, settle down of wherever you're coming from, get grounded, take a deep breath, and become aware of where you are physically, the room that you're sitting in, or if you're listening to the recording, you might be driving your car. Um, keep your eyes on the road. And to become aware of how you feel inwards, inside, emotionally, how was your day, whether it's positive, negative, whatever it is, just to become aware and let it come up. And thank yourself for giving yourself some time, taking some time off from a busy day. Many people wanted to be here tonight, but they're too busy. And there's a lot to do. And many people are just too busy to stop and take some time off. And we do live in a world with a constant rush. There's so much going on. We're always so busy. And the important things we don't get to take care of, like ourselves. So thank yourself for taking some, for taking some time off, allowing yourself to be here tonight, for giving yourself permission to stop and... Um, to say, I'm okay, even though I stopped. Even though I'm sitting in one place, take a deep breath, and your mind says, there's so much to do. Why are you here? There's so much you have to take care of. Come aware of that too. And take some time off to slow down. And sometimes to get into the alpha state, which we've discussed before, to really relax. And yes, many people, when they relax, they fall asleep because they're overtired. But to, be, to, to come in a place to be able to go to a relaxed state and be up, to be able to sit there, relaxed, and not fall asleep. With practice, you can get there. And that's what we're looking for. So last week, we discussed the emotional home of Understanding that the same way a person has habits, the things that you're used to doing every day, what you do when you wake up, your routine, and the way we think, it's probably the same almost every day. That's who you are, that's what you do, and it's, it becomes a habit. The same thing is with our emotions. Our emotions are also you know, we're used to feeling certain ways for, for whatever reason. So we call it a, an emotional home. Becoming aware of what's your emotional home. Where do you find yourself when, when you do want to become aware? And when you're busy, you're probably not thinking much. But when you do stop and you become aware of how you feel, the majority of the day, how do you feel? What's that emotional home? What, what's the habit that it pulls you there? whether it's sad, could be bored, maybe anger, could be chaos. You find yourself whenever you just stop and become aware of what's going on. There's so much going on in your life. Or maybe positive. You realize you always feel great, uplifting. You feel could be positive, whatever it is, negative, positive, but we all have an emotional home. That that place where we're used to going and that's where we end up. Now the same way a house, if you live, even if the place you live might not be 
might not be the best place. You might not like it. You might go away for a few hours, but at the end of the day, you come home because home is home. The same thing is with our emotions. We might try to work. We sit here on Wednesday night to learn positive emotions, try to see what's positive in our life. We're working on it, but we find ourselves going back into that negative emotions or whatever it is to that emotional home. So it's important to become aware of what it is. Another way to see where is our emotional home is to see how do I feel when I'm under stress? And where does my thoughts take me? Do I lose it? Do I always feel the same way? Do I think it's, it, I think the worst case scenario and usually it takes us to the same place. If, if for example, you think worst case scenario, it's, you're probably doing it for, for a while now, for many years. And to change it, it's gonna take time. The same way it takes time to change a, a habit, any habit. Just to change a habit is very hard. It's something that you're used to doing for many years and you wanna change it. You have to do small steps. And the example that I give many times is Start doing things different, even if they're very small and you might think it's not important. For example, if on the way home from work, you usually take a right turn, make a left turn. You might have to go around the block, but it just makes you conscious and it changes. You're doing some change and it's very small, but we're looking to do a little bit of change and you can start with brushing your teeth. If you do it with your right hand, start doing it with your left hand. See how it goes. But you'll become aware of thinking, why am I doing this? What am I doing? It wakes you up a little bit. And that's how change starts, just to start slowly. The same way we're going to be start doing changing habits of our emotion. If we're used to, for many years, falling into that negative feeling, negative emotions when we're under stress, we could change it and slowly build our positives and to find ourselves in a better place. And yes, it will take time, but the awareness and to work on it is very important. So that was last week, learning about our emotional home. This week, we're going to discuss the power of setting an intention. So like I mentioned the end of last week, this comes from Dr. Joe Dispenza. And he was teaching a class of a few hundred people. And he asked them all, who believes that thoughts, that your thoughts create your reality? And for all of those that are in this world um, of self-development, and if you're with us for a few weeks now, we become aware that the way we think is the way we feel, and that's what we do. Basically, I would say a line which a lot of people don't like to hear. Your life looks exactly the way you think it should. Some people are not happy where, they, where they're sitting, what, what, what it looks like their life. They're not happy about it. And when I tell them that, they're like, no, this is not where I want to be. I would love to make more money. I would love to have different relationships. I would love to... Um, live somewhere else, whatever comes up. But there's something that's telling you not to. And that's sometimes subconscious. And it's the way we're thinking. So I'll say that line again. Your life looks exactly the way you think it should. So you can look around and whatever is going on in your life is really the way you think it should. So let's say you don't deserve, if you believe you don't deserve to get a raise, then you're probably not going to ask for it. If you believe that you're not good at a certain job, there's a job opening, and you don't think you're good at it, you're not going to take it. So basically, look around in your life, and you'll basically see all your beliefs. And where you are is really what you think. This is where I should be now. Even though consciously you might say, no, I don't want it. I really should make double, I should make more money. But deep down, you probably don't believe that you could, or you don't deserve or whatever the subconscious beliefs are. 
So we do know that beliefs, the thoughts, they create how we feel, and that's the way we act in our day. That's what we do. So he asked the question, who believes that thoughts create their reality? So 400 people raised their hands. They all believe that the thought creates their reality, which is amazing. And then he asked, who of you use your thoughts to consciously create it? If your thoughts create your reality, who of you use your thoughts to create your day? So that means you can decide how your day should look like. If your thoughts create your reality, then let's go. We can actually create with our thoughts so we can change it. So that is the power of intention. So I would ask you a question. How would you want to feel? Think for a moment. What would it look like? Your ideal day. How would you want to feel? And you can actually set the dial of what you want to feel. So I'll give you some examples of feelings. You want to feel blissful. You want to feel calm, cheerful, relaxed. You want to feel content, excited. They have to find an emotion, find that word that you like to feel. You just want to feel happy. You want to feel hopeful, joyful, loving, peaceful. So again, I have a list in front of me of a lot of positive emotions. You can choose one positive emotion that you would like to feel. And then with that, we can work on feeling that during our day. And that's what we're going to learn tonight, how to do that. But first, can you answer me what... What is it that you want to feel? And a lot of people, when I ask them that question, they say, I don't know. And that's part of, you know, maybe they don't believe anything could change and uh, they're not in a good place. So they say, I don't know. But if you believe you could create, you could change, you know, choose a positive emotion. For example, if you choose, you would like to feel calm. So you take an index card and write down the word calm and put it in your pocket. Or you could put it on sticky notes, put it around your house and hang up that word, the word calm. And that's the way you wanna feel. And so what are you gonna do? In the morning when you wake up, before you start your day, before you do anything, before you check your phone, you're gonna set your intention. What is it? How do I want to feel today? And you come up with that word. Thank you for those who are sharing. You can share in the chat. You can put in the chats what word comes up for you that you wanna feel. You wanna feel relaxed, calm, peace, whatever comes up, beautiful. Write it down at the index card. And can you see yourself? Let's walk through your day with that card, with that feeling. So you know your schedule, you know you have meetings, you have to go to work, you have to spend time with family, you have to, there's a lot of things going on. So you know a little bit what your day is gonna look like. Imagine yourself with that feeling and going through your day. Go from step one, it can take you, uh, it shouldn't take more than two minutes. In the beginning, it might take more time, but eventually it could take just two minutes. See yourself there. You come to work, you're calm, you're smiling, you're, uh, people are, are stressed out and you're still calm. And you just, you know, do what you have to do. Some things get done, some things don't. You stay calm and it, there's a lot of stress going on but you're still staying calm. And again, we're not looking, not looking for perfection. It's gonna take time for the first day. If it works for five minutes, treat yourself because that's the beginning, even for five minutes. But 
try this exercise. You find one word, and again, that even that positive word could change. One day it could be relaxed, the other one could be joyful. See where it takes you, see how you feel. And put it down on an index card, carry it around with you. If you could, you can hang it up and walk through your day and to see how your day unfold, uh, unfolds. It, just do it with imagination. And then eventually, you put it away and you let it go. And let's see what happens. So what's important is when you sit down in the morning to do this exercise, you have to start with gratitude. Start listing a few things that you're grateful for, things that, you, that, are, that are working out in your life, in your day, things that you feel good about. Gratitude brings you to a place where you can open up, see things with a different perspective. And you should have a list of gratitudes if you're on this journey, just to every day for a few minutes, what are you grateful for? So once you feel grateful, you come up with that word that you wanna use during the day, that positive emotion to set your intention. And then you visualize, you imagine your day, all the things that you know you have to do. It could be at work, at home. If you have meetings, you have a lot at work to do. And look at yourself, let's say it's calm, doing all of those things in a calm state. And see yourself as if it's happening already. Imagine it happening and see yourself walking through your day you might meet people that usually when you meet them, it triggers whatever comes up and it's hard for you to relate, to interact, but you're staying calm. You're using that word all along the day. Whatever comes up, you use calm. And then you say, Atfila, Hashem, please help me. I should be able to walk through my day and be calm. And then, and then you say, thank you, Hashem, as if it happened already. The same way you see yourself, you visualize yourself doing it. You thank Hashem for it actually happening. And that's the same thing we're going to do in a minute with the affirmations. It's as if it's happening already now. You see it happening and you thank Hashem. And that's really what we do every day when we daven. For those who are more conscious, it could be hard for some people who, who are davening now for many years, three times a day, and it becomes part of routine. But really what we're doing is we start with gratitude. Before we start asking anything, before we want to set our intention, we start with gratitude. Thank Hashem that we can walk, we could see with all the brachas, just feeling grateful that if you're conscious, thinking of what you're saying, it opens up the positivity. It, it, it helps you realize that you are in a good place, even if it's not perfect. And you can always find some things that are missing, the, half, the, the glass half full or half empty, but we focus on the half full. And first we start with gratitude. And then Shman Esra starts that way. We start with we don't ask right away the first three brachas. We just realize that we're talking to Hashem and he can do anything. So that's how we start, just to open up, change our respect, perspective, see it from a positive light. And then we ask, you know, I can't without you. Please help me. I need this. I need that. That's basically what it is. We're asking for all the brachas. Please, Hashem, I need this. Please, Hashem, I need that. And, th and then we say at the end, we say, thank you very much. But if it's, it's really if you think about it, you know, sometimes I'm so used to it, I don't even realize that I haven't. It's only when you sit down to slow down and think of what am I doing now? That's really how it works. And that's what we're, this technique, you start off with gratitude, you see the grateful things in your life. Start thanking Hashem. We all have what to thank for. It might be hard to find, but this is with practice. Come up with a list of 10 things to thank Hashem. And then you come up with a positive word, a positive feeling that you would like to go through your day with. Write it down on an index card 
or write it down in places where you could see it. And then imagine yourself doing it. Imagine yourself going through your day and all the things that you have to do and doing it with that word that you chose. If you chose calm, imagine yourself doing it in a calm state, even though things are stressful. And again, it might not work for the full day. After a few hours, you might say, oh, I didn't think about it for the past few hours. Okay, you could start now. It's not all or nothing. It's practice. And even if you did it for five minutes, it's great. So that's the first thing in the morning when you get up. That's gratitude. Start off with gratitude. And then you come up with that positive emotion. See yourself. Walk through your day with that positive emotion. And then you say, Hashem, please help it happen. And then you start your day. Let's see what happens. Let's do some experiments and let me know what happens. Let me know in the feedback. Just before we end, I just uh, this is very important to, to realize why is it so important to actually see yourself actually doing it already. We've mentioned it before, but it's, it's always important. Our brain doesn't really know the difference of something that's happening or you're imagining it. And they had studies that those who went skiing they had races skiing and in the summer what they did what was they laid in bed they had a group they had some people do this some people did that so they had a group of people laying in bed imagining being on the skis in the on the mountain and going down the mountain all the way up and down with, with you know all the challenges and they did that for a while and then they had other people that didn't do it and they check to see if there's any difference from the imagination. And lo and behold, there makes a difference. For the mind, it doesn't really make a difference if it's actually happening or if it's something that you're imagining. And it's important because let's say you're worried about something and you're stressful. For your mind, it's actually happening. So your body feels it. It doesn't realize, wait, it's only a worry. It might not happen, but your body feels that stress already. And the same thing is with positive. If you imagine yourself going through your day with a calm state, taking things the way you, know, you should, trying to figure it out, and even though there's a lot of stress, if you imagine it, your mind actually sees you doing it. And now when it actually happens during the day, it's used to it because you've, you've done it before. You've been there. So this is part of practice, part of how we get out of our emotional home. Every time you're under stress, you might be losing it and you can't think straight. But now you're changing it. You're changing that habit. And slowly you want to go into that positive state of calmness to walk through your day with calm. And the same thing is with positive affirmations. Again, we've done many times positive affirmations and you can find many there are many out there many different affirmations find the affirmation that works for you that makes you feel good for example i am loved i am enough i am worthy i'm becoming better i'm becoming a better me things are working out so it's it's really in the in the present tense i am even though your mind your mind might say it's not true but you say it in the present tense as if you are. It's happening now. And you feel it that way. You see it that way. So you can choose a few affirmations that work. And every day in the morning, choosing a positive word, coming up with a list of grateful things that you're grateful for, and a few positive affirmations about yourself in a positive state in the present tense. And then you say, Hashem, please help me. Help it happen. And you let it go. And then you'll see what happens during the day. So this is it for tonight. And I would like, if you can let me know, try it out. Try it out for a few days. We don't base it on day number one. Try it out for a few times and see where it goes. 
You can write them down the index card or you can hang them up so you can see them, whatever it is. And slowly we can change the habit of our emotional home. So that when we're under stress, for example, whatever happens, that's a habit. If you don't think about it, you're gonna go straight back to the same place where it takes you, where you're used to for many years. If you wanna change it, we'll do small steps. And again, if you feel even a five minute difference in your day, that means it's working, keep it up and we build on that. And that's how we continue. So that's it for tonight. If you have any questions, you can put them in the chat. You can let me know if anything comes up, any triggers, any emotions, whatever it is, positive or negative, because we're not judging. This is part of the awareness. And yes, like many ask, in the beginning you said to become aware and to be okay with the, whatever emotion comes up. That's true. And that's part of acceptance. Being okay, even though you're not okay. Being okay, even though you feel you're, you should be somewhere else, you should feel something else. Being okay, that's true. And when, I'm not gonna run away from it very fast. I'll let you sit there. I know it's painful and people don't like it, but this itself that you wanna change it, that creates anxiety. So no, we're not gonna change right away. But in the long run, we do wanna build positivity. We do want to change our habits a little bit. We do want to change if we, our habits, our emotional habit, the emotional home goes to one place. We want to slowly move it to a better place if we can do that. And we're learning that we can. Some people think they can't. It's not up to me. Look at my life. Look around. When this changes, when that changes, then I'll be okay. Then I'll feel better. But that's not the answer. And we know that. It's not our surroundings not our circumstance outside. It's inwards, what's going on inside of us. And that's where the real change happens. Inside, why am I feeling what I'm feeling? What am I feeling? And to be okay with what I'm feeling and then build positivity. Sit every day with, with a few minutes feeling grateful with where you are now, not when things will change. If you can sit and feel the positivity with where you are now, that itself is worth a million dollars. That is the answer to many of, of, of our stress and problems that we want things to change because we're not happy with where we are. And if you tell me I'll be happy when I get there, I'll tell you a secret, you're never gonna get there because when you get there, it's here again. And you're gonna say, no, but I want there. <laughs> So you're always saying, I want to be somewhere else. If you can't learn to be where you are now, then no matter what happens, you're not going to be able to be with where you are now. So let's learn that trait. So thank you very much. So use that, use the technique and create your day. Yes, with Hashem's help, you can create your day. Choose an emotion in a grateful state with positive affirmations and see where it takes you. Thank you very much. Thank you for coming. And I will take some questions in the chat, whoever wants. You can put them in the chat, please. Thank you.